My name is Megan Roosevelt and I'm a registered dietitian, also known as a healthy grocery girl. I own a nutrition company called Healthy Grocery Girl and I started the company because I'm very, very passionate about helping other people um, live an authentic, healthy lifestyle. To me, the word authentic is important because I know what it means to not be fully living an authentic lifestyle and really how that does affect everything else in your life. In my past, I struggled with some health issues. In high school and early on in college, I struggled with anorexia, bulimia, um, over-exercising, really just not caring for my body. From high school, I was in a relationship in high school, um, and that person didn't want to be with me any longer, and that was my first experience of rejection. And up until that point, I had always been authentic. I um, was just myself. And one day somebody didn't like me. I didn't understand why. And I didn't know how to deal with it. If the person that I love doesn't love me for me, what's wrong with me? And I didn't know then how much that would affect the many, many years to come. But it, it did. For anyone that has an eating disorder or has had an eating disorder or knows someone that does, the disorder is really has nothing to do with food. It's always because somebody's hurting. Any addiction or struggle is always because somebody's hurting inside and they're looking for a, um, a coping mechanism and a way to, to just numb themselves or get through life, which is hard. And for me, my eating disorder was a way for me to try to control my life because I couldn't control my life. I couldn't control if other people liked me or didn't, but I could control this one area of my life. And it spiraled out of control. And really my breaking point um, was when I was going through a period of my bulimia and I was throwing up and I noticed that what I was throwing up was not food. Um, I was throwing up a piece of my throat. And that really scared me <laughs> because I was sitting there and I remember thinking, you're killing yourself. And for what? <laughs> what, what does it matter if you're skinny? If can't enjoy life if you don't have anyone to share life with, if you don't have energy and you're not passionate and you're not fulfilled in doing the things that you were created to do on earth, who cares if you're skinny or not? And although it wasn't about being skinny, um, it is a component that then is a gauge of Am I, you know, am I good or am I bad? Am I doing well or am I not? You know, that, that weight control and that body issue control. And, you know, people ask, how do you, how do you get over an eating disorder? How do you get out of an issue, um, that type of struggle in your life? And, you know, I'm not an expert. I have experience in it. But um, that's all I can speak from is my personal experience. And everybody's situation is different. And, you know, it, some people it takes longer durations of time to get out of their eating disorder. Um, and luckily for me, I just... I was able to get out of it. A lot of it comes from um, my personal faith um, and with God and just using that as my source of strength when I personally, physically as a human being, did not have the strength to make better choices and to take good care of myself. Um, I would pray and ask for help and you know that was a huge, um, a huge rock for me to rely on as I tried to rebuild my health and rebuild my self-esteem. And another big component of it was um, positive self-talk and um, telling myself that I'm enough and that I'm beautiful and if for some reason one day my stomach isn't flat, but that is okay. Because as long as I am helping other people and loving other people and being a good person in the world to others, who cares if my stomach isn't flat? And it takes so much strength when you've come from a place of dysfunction mentally 
with an eating disorder to start to uh, self pos po positive self talk and to help reestablish your self esteem um, so that you can just not care anymore. And so it took years for me to overcome my poor self esteem and to be in a place where I really truly and I know that this sounds odd, but Every woman has days where they are frustrated with their body, but I can 100% tell you that I've gotten to a place where I love my body. And it's not because I work out at the gym all the time and I diet and I'm trying to be this perfect body. Um, I love my body because I know what it's gone through. And I'm so in love with the fact that it has put up with me not always making the best choices. But, um, but it's strong and beautiful and capable of so many things. And this body allows me to live life and experience life. And for that, I love my body. And I want to take care of my body. And that's where really my passion for nutrition came into play. Um, and, you know, I got my career, my, my degree um, in nutrition. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Health and Human Development, health, health and Human Development, Food and Nutrition, which really helped me in the process of not only going through my personal journey, but to have really um, that professional education to learn about the body and how to take care of the body and how to eat real food um, that's nourishing. And the more I started understanding nutrition and food and the body, the more I just fell in love with it all and how amazing food is and real food, plant-based food and the intricacy of it and how medicinal food is um, and how healing and nourishing it is. And I just love that. I love that I could better myself um, by feeding my body right, which was the complete opposite of the life I had before, which is I tried to better my body by depriving my body. And instead, I found out that by not depriving myself, but by taking care of myself and nourishing myself, that's, that's how I could better my body, and in turn, I could help other people. And that's why, you know, Healthy Grocery Girl is fun and playful, and I, I talk about nutrition, and I can be silly, and that is 100%, you know, how life should be. Life should be fun, and life should be exciting, and life is great. We should really celebrate and enjoy all the wonderful things that we have in life to experience. Um, but really my heart, just so you understand where I'm coming from um, and why, why you should even care who I am, who is this girl, <laughs> is that I want you to know that I've been in a place of extreme unhealth. I know what it's like. Um, to be unhealthy. So it doesn't matter if you're overweight, underweight, whatever your situation is that, that you are in a place of unhealth right now, if you have addiction, if you have any type of unhealthy struggle, um, it's all in the same boat. You're all captive in a body, in a mind, in a disorder, in a situation you are not designed to be captive in. And it's limiting, it keeps you, holds you back from the life, the person um, that you are meant to be. I know what that's like. And I also know what it's like to go through the trenches of coming out of that and being a restored and healthy person and to daily work on keeping yourself restored and healthy and moving forward um, into a better tomorrow and a better future. I hope that, you know, you never know what you do, what it will mean and if it will help anyone. But I really hope that this helps someone. I really hope that there's somebody watching who has struggled with something in their life um, and realizes that, you know, this too shall pass and that whatever you're going through, that if you just stay strong and if you get real with yourself and that you work on healing and restoring yourself first, that good things will build from that and things will get better, things do get better. Um, but I just encourage you that you really, really get honest with yourself and put your health first because all good things will come after that. So I just, I love, I love, love, love helping other people be healthy. And the reason why is because all the other great things in life come first from being in a place of true health, um, whole health, physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually as well. And so when you see me hopping around, talking about nutrition, being fun, being goofy, um, now you know a little bit more about my heart and my personal story, um, the struggles that I've been in, and why I just love what I do, and I'm so excited about helping other people. And I hope that this has been encouraging. Um, I hope that you have 
liked uh, learning a little bit more about who I am and my past. It's a very personal story for me to share. This has been Megan, your Healthy Grocery Girl, and have a great day.